Corinthians 7:14. An unbelieving man married to such a woman serves a holy purpose, and an unbelieving wife married to a Christian serves a holy purpose. Otherwise, your children would be unclean, but now they are holy. Those of the faith, the Lord can use to, in close-knit relationships, the Lord can be used to win those to the faith. So he's saying, because of this, don't get divorced simply because they're unbeliever. if they'll keep you. Allow God to use that influence. Luke 5, 17 through 19. One day when Jesus was teaching, some of the Pharisees and experts in the Mosaic Law were present. They had come from every town in Galilee and Judea, from Jerusalem, and the power of the Lord was present to heal them. Now, the experts and Pharisees weren't probably from Galilee and everywhere. This was the people that came. It just so happened that the teachers of the law and the Pharisees were there. Why were they there? Well, they wanted to keep an eye on Jesus, most likely. Some of them actually accepted Jesus' teachings. These other group of people, we see they're there to get healed, but they're also there to hear Jesus' teaching. It, it shows that before the church was founded, that people went to the church for the wrong reason. It begs us, when we go to church today, people are going to be going be there for the wrong reason. The Pharisees and experts were there for the wrong reason. That doesn't mean the Lord can't influence them. It just means not everybody is there because they want to be there. Because they want to grow closer to the Lord. It begs the question, why are we? Why do we go to church? Is it to grow closer to the Lord? Because it should be. Verse 18. Some men... Some men brought a paralyzed man on a stretcher. They tried to bring him into the house and put him in front of him. Now, these men took faith. They knew Jesus was a healer. They knew this man was paralyzed and they could do something. But think about it. They had to go out of their way. They didn't just bring him to the house and leave. They did whatever they needed to to get this man healed. And if we react that way with bringing people to Jesus, doing everything we need to do, then more will come to the faith. Because the Lord will bless us through, bless through that. But, in verse 19, But when they couldn't reach him, they went up to the roof and took off some tiles and lowered the sick man down into the the crowd still on the mat right in front of Jesus. So, do they they see the obstacle? They see, okay, this ain't going to happen. They're like, how are we going to make it happen? They ain't forcing God's will. They're just doing all by their all that they can. You know, sometimes the Lord wants us to do all we can, and then He'll bless that. But oftentimes we do what we need to do and then stop because it gets hard and tough and becomes a struggle. We need to do all that we can. And sometimes things will come out because of that.